Hi, till now we talked a lot on the basics of VSGL. We retain our VSGL code and designed a simple multiplexer, tested an AND gate, learned about the entity and architecture, took insight of sequential and concurrent statements, learned about the processes in VSGL, signals in VSGL, vector type signals, vector indexes, etc. Now we are gonna be starting the practical exercises to get deeper understanding what we have learned. But before we move on to the practical exercises, go through this small exercise and this will tell you how much you are familiar now with the VSGL design. In this exercise, we get the task to write a VSGL design for a basic NAND gate and designer written this code. This code have some formal syntax errors. Now, can you find those syntax errors in this code? Try to mark out as many errors as you can. So it's time to recall your learnings and give a pause here and try to mark those syntax errors one by one. You can start from the entity and then check the architecture. And let me know in the comment section that how many errors you identified and in how much time. And we will map our results in some time. Good luck. Okay, so let's map our results one by one. First is the missing AND bracket after we define the last port in the port list. We close the bracket first and then type semicolon. Second, notice the architecture declaration line. We have written architecture behavior of NAND gate. However, our entity name is my design. So it should be my design here, not the NAND gate. Next, check the concurrent statement. D out gets a value of not of S, but we didn't declare the signal S. So we need to declare signal S between architecture and begin. Now look over the conditional statement. We are checking input A and input B with value 1, but this signal is not inside the single quotes. This is a width value, hence values must be inside the single quotes. Last is the AND architecture, where we used NAND gate as architecture name. But architecture name is behavior here, so we need to write behavior. This is the correct VSGL code for our requirement of NAND gate. You can write your VSGL code by different ways and using different functions. And this is just a way, taken as an example only. In this video, I also wanted to increase you to make a practice to write a comment whenever it is needed. Comments are needed to get the reference inside the editor that if you are writing some function or declaring something or you are doing anything, just write like this signal declaration is for this purpose. This process is for this function. This loop is for this function like that. This is very important because when someone read your codes and if that also include comments, it will be very easy for him to understand that what you have written and for what purpose. Same way if someone written a VHL code and if he wants you to review this code, so it would be easy for you to understand code if the comments are in place, which will tell you that what code is for what purpose. Isn't life saving? Yes, it is. So please make a practice to write a comments in your VSGL code. In VSGL, you can write anything in the comment just after the double dashes. So anything that you write after double dashes will be treated as comment and compiler won't read or compile them and simulator won't execute them as well. You can use double dashes at the start of the line as well as at any different position in the line. But remember, anything that you write after a double dashes will be treated as comment. This you can also use if you wanted to ignore some of your statements from your VSGL code while execution. So just mark them as comment. 
you might not believe at the moment but later in your designs you would be frequently mark your statements as comment just to ignore them from execution and thus different statements and different logics and different functions another fact is that psdl do not allows multi line comments unlike other programming languages so in case of multi line comment you need to put double dashes at the start of each line i know it is not friendly to do when you wanted to ignore multiple statements from execution because you need to add or remove double dashes from each line every time but we cannot really do much because this is vsdl environment however double dashes will only consider coming just after the double dash up to the end of line so anything you write in next line in vsdl editor will again executable in vsdl editor those comments are colored as green so you can always see what is coming and what is executable great job so far and now you must have basic idea of how to create a vsdl design and you should feel confident to hands on writing the vsdl code and simulating the results so next step is to set up the application or tools for your practical exercises as i mentioned earlier that vsdl simulation and synthesis supported by multiple vendors so you can choose what you wanted to set up on your machine based on your needs i am listing here few of the vendors who supports vsdl simulation some of them offer free of course student version some of them are free for non corporate users with limited features let's go through them one by one so first in the list is xilinx vivado or you can use xilinx isc as well for older xilinx fpga devices these applications are from xilinx third in the list is model sim you can use model sim started edition which is free and can be acquired from intel we will also use quartus prime which is from intel and we will couple it with model sim simulator 2 for our simulation just for a note that intel acquired eltra nearly in year 2015 previously it was owned by eltra so in many devices you will still see the mark of eltra fourth is active sgl you can use student version which is free and you can acquire this from eldeck fifth is ghdl this is open source sixth is web based solution named as eda playground The most common simulator used for FPGA development are Model Sim Simulator which you can get from Intel. Alternatively, you can use Vivado Simulator from Xilinx. These both are widely used and you can choose from them based on the FPGA device you want to use for your projects. If you get a Xilinx device, then you can prefer Xilinx Vivado. or if you have some old version devices then you can use xilinx isc else if you are designing on eltra devices or intel devices then you can choose model same there is no much difference in the simulation so it's completely your choices if you are not designing for the fpga and if you don't want to go with heavy size simulator like xilinx or model same or quartus prime because some of them sized in gigs or in gigabytes then you can choose open source ghdl simulator which is command line based simulator and can be coupled with gtk waves for waveform results if you wanted to use web based simulation solution then you can even prefer the eda playground simple is that if you are going to work on xilinx devices better to choose xilinx vivado or xilinx isc based on the fpga device or if you are using eltra or intel devices then choose quartus prime and model sim simulator and if you only want to do simulation without fpga integration then choose any simulator you want and if you wanted to try all the tools then you can even set up them all in your machine 
it's completely your choice so i feel i need more than enough tools and now you can have variety of simulators to pick from we will walk you through each and every option listing here to explain you that how you can acquire those simulators and set them up on your machines for free and you can finally pick the best suited simulator based on your needs or even i will say that you can try all of them at least once to take hands on on these tools and then choose based on your preferences so for that stay tuned for the upcoming videos and meantime subscribe to the community and press the bell icon to get the notification whenever we post the new video so in the upcoming videos we will be showing you how you can download these applications for free where to download and how to set them up on your machines and make it ready for vsgl coding and simulation if you found this video helpful please give it a like and leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe for regular updates